Hey guys, ice tapes can seem really, really confusing, but they're not. So in this video, I'm going to work you through a few examples, and if you want to try more for yourself and loads more maths questions, then you can pop over and get my book, Math Skills for Chemistry Students. When looking at an element, the important thing that determines it is the atomic number. That's the number of protons that something has. Now the mass just tells us how many more neutrons there are than protons. And if something is heavier than normal, it's going to have more neutrons than normal. So here we have three isotopes of helium. Helium 1, helium 2 and helium 3. Now the 1, 2 and 3 just refers to how much it weighs. So helium 1 weighs 1, helium 2 weighs 2 and helium 3 weighs 3. And the reason for the difference in their weights is the number of neutrons. So helium-1 just has one proton in the middle and no neutrons. Helium-2 has one proton and one neutron. And helium-3 has one proton and two neutrons. So an isotope is an element with different mass. Here we have helium-5. So the mass is 5. The atomic number equals 2, that's from the periodic table. So the protons equals 2, the electrons equals 2, and the neutrons equal 5 minus 2, which is 3. Here we have boron 7, so the mass is 7. The atomic number from the periodic table is 5. So we can say that the number of protons equals 5. The number of electrons equals 5. And the number of neutrons equals 7 minus 5, which equals 2. Here we have lithium 8, so the mass is 8, the atomic from the periodic table is 3, so we can say protons equal 3, electrons equal 3, neutrons equal 8 minus 3, which equals 5. Now, if you like these questions, if you want more of these questions, more of a different topic, lots and lots of harder questions, then I strongly suggest you go and get my book, which is Maths, the Chemistry Bit for Science Students. Um, you can get that in book format, video format, or you can get that over in my classroom.